Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and this is going to be a quick video on a feature that you might expect to already be within Atom. It's called Highlight Selected, and we're going to get into that right now. So now that we've shown basically how to add some packages and some of the core features of Atom, these next few videos are essentially going to be covering some of the more important and sort of just the packages that you want to have installed. So let's go ahead and load up our settings by doing Atom Preferences. Then we can head to Install and let's search for Highlight Selected. Highlight selected. You'll notice mine's already up there because I uh, had recently searched for it. But what's nice about highlight the selection is it's something that you would see in most any IDE or text editor. And it's a feature that is installed a hundred thousand times for a reason. If we click install, we'll be able to head to a JavaScript file and check it out. Let's come to this file right here. Now you'll notice that in normal text editors, when you double click a word, you'll see that the whole word gets selected and highlighted a lot of the times. In addition, other instances of that same word also get uh, an outline around them. Now this is very common. You'll see it in things like WebStorm, uh, other IDs and stuff like that. What's nice about this is, is that you can instantly see if there's necessarily like a spelling error or something like that. Let's say we knew that we were supposed to be typing resolutions and uh, obviously you can see that there's no U in this one. But if we double select this and you can see this is surrounded by resolutions everywhere, you can instantly tell that there's a spelling error in this word because it's not the same as the ones that are being used. This also makes it really easy to see any time a particular variable or object or anything is being used throughout your code. So let's undo that. I don't want to make this not work. We can look for all sorts of things. It can easily quick out. You can easily see things, any, any particular function or word that you're looking for. So highlight selected is one of those packages that should be a day one install. It's something that you would sort of expect to be here. And I, I just can't imagine coding without it. Cool, so this is just one of the Level Up Tutorials recommended packages that we're going to be covering in the next few videos. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. If you want to get the rest of these videos before they're available on YouTube, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and you can purchase the whole series, or you can sign up as a Level Up Pro for $8.99 a month, $95 a year, and have instant access to these as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.